Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Friday, February 11th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, lots of great stuff are at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And join us every week at 1030 a.m. for Sunday worship. My scripture today is Job 38, verse 36. Who has put wisdom in the inward parts or given understanding to the mind? This is the word of the Lord. I hate to admit this because I am an analytical person. Now, that doesn't mean that people are all one way or another, you know, analytical, intuitive, creative, or regimented. No, I mean, we all are a mixture. But I would say that my approach to the world is largely analytical. Well, here's what I hate to admit. According to the latest studies, if you're trying to problem solve, very often intuition or the subconscious is a better problem solver than analytical process. Now, what they mean by better doesn't necessarily mean a more accurate outcome, but a quicker one. In other words, if you have a word puzzle and you're trying to unscramble words, the research shows conclusively that a person that goes about it by examining combinations of letters and moving them around in their mind is much slower than a person who just kind of stares at the scrambled letters until the subconscious mind blurts out an answer. Amazing, isn't it? And also, the different decisions that one must make in a fairly timely manner while driving and uh, perhaps while interacting with others, maybe in the midst of a sporting event. The research shows that we already pretty much allow our intuition, our instincts, our subconscious, whatever you call it, to make those decisions. And the person that tries to overlay an analytical process over the top of these types of activities will slow the whole thing down and very often it'll be too late. Now, analytics does provide a wonderful check against incorrect answers because it gives a mechanism of checking while you go. So it's more appropriate for life decisions, budgeting, and so forth. But I was inspired because that means that God has placed within us many wondrous mechanisms and they are appropriate for different things. I'd like to think that faith is always informing my decisions, whether they are intuitive or analytical, because the word of Jesus Christ is life-giving. And I pray that we would trust our faith and let our faith inform both our intuition and our analyses. <laughs> let us pray. Lord, we sometimes make decisions based on instinct or intuition. Sometimes we make decisions based on analysis. We pray that we would know the difference between tasks that are appropriate for each but that whatever we would allow them to be informed by our faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.